The physical assault of journalist Marisol Amaya in the line of duty as a crime reader correspondent during the chaos that erupted near the Tower Hill Bridge on Wednesday is most regrettable. Not only is the incident a very poor reflection of the Belize Police Department, it also goes to show that there exists no protocol between law enforcement and the media in times of civil disobedience. Disturbing images of uniformed officers manhandling the reporter and slamming her to the pavement amid the tear gassing of PUP protesters who were intent on blocking the toll bridge have incensed many, including her colleagues in the media. I would like the general public and the media to know that the police department has a job to do. And in that situation, we have always asked the media to stay a distance away from the situation. In this regards, the media was up and front of the situation. And in that regards, we ended up have, having to move everybody, including the media. In no time did the police department have any intention or purpose to target the media. That has never been a part of policing. Perhaps that fundamental principle was never imparted to members of the Special Patrol Unit, who went about clearing the obstructed stretch of road in a most violent manner. That directive came from Assistant Commissioner of Police Edward Broster. This was a clear obstruction of a major thoroughfare where members of the public were gathering illegally, blocking the ordinary citizens from traversing the, the highway. We had a couple right behind the first vehicle that blocked the highway that needed to get to the hospital and were attempting to take the risk of going around that vehicle with, uh, with the possibility of plunging into the ravine. And an ambulance was in the, in, in the line of traffic backed up. And we had to clear the highway, and we did so without breaking any bones or causing any serious injuries to any individual. This morning, the brass of the department attempted to rationalize what to many is an apparent singling out of a well-known newscaster. The officers that are seen roughing up Amaya during the confusion went as far as trying to hit her with a baton. Those gathered on the northern end of the bridge, including PUP party leader John Briseño, Orange Walk South Era representative Jose Mai, and members of the media had indeed been asked to clear the road. At the end of the day, the police has a job to do. And the police officer on the ground have to make those decisions as to how what he needs to do with the least necessary force to move people. And at that situation, Jules, the use of tear gas was the least that he could have done to move, despite that they did not want to move when they were pushing them. The excessive use of force, particularly where it concerns the leader of the opposition and the media, appears to be unwarranted. I went through probably what the poor people in Belize City went through on Friday. Uh, it's a horrible feeling, and I don't want our people to get hurt. That's why I said, okay, let us move. That was uncalled for, that was unwarranted, that was unnecessary. And I'm holding the Prime Minister Northern and the Prime Minister responsible for what has transpired this afternoon here at the Toll Bridge. Admittedly, ACP Broster says that the media did in fact attempt to interview Bersenia off to the side of the road. However, his supporters were still adamant in obstructing the flow of traffic. When we asked them to move and we popped the first canisters, the group went down about maybe 20 yards from where they were at first. And you all attempted to interview the, the leader of the opposition indeed. And he had his supporters right there, still blocking the road. And we asked to move again and they refused. And we popped the second. A tier of gas and then the crowd started dispersed. They went down further and they congregated again, keep blocking the highway and we discharged another round of canisters and then they went all the way to Tower Hill and they blocked there again and we discharged some more and then that was when we cleared the, the highway. The Minister of Police has issued a broad apology to those affected by the tear gas incident including the media, but stopped short of a personal expression of regret for what happened to Marisol Amaya. The police apologizes to those members of the public, including the members of the press who were out there about their lawful business and were affected by the measures used by the police to restore law and order. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.